Welcome back to our product testing lab, AKA the great outdoors here in Fairbanks, Alaska. We're on a quest for the best and we hope you are too. And today our journey is gonna take us back to Fjallraven, but we're going down a couple different roads. This is our first change map! And we have the Kev pant and the Abisko light trekking trouser. Two different pants that Fjallraven sells that we're gonna go through them, compare them, and you can see what you think. My name is Alex. Let's get into it. So we're gonna go from top to bottom on each of these pants and do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can kind of get an idea of what each of these pants is uh, and what it's going to be best for and kind of how they're different. So let's start with the keb. We're gonna start at the top and the belt loops on the keb are similar to anything you're gonna find like on any regular pant. They do, you know, there's no integrated belt or anything like that, but there is an option that you can put your own belt in there, which is nice to have. This is extremely helpful, uh, especially for the keb, where you know the keb can be used in wintertime and it can be used in summertime. So if you want to get it maybe a size bigger so you can layer underneath of it, uh, it is nice to have those belt loops so you can cinch that up in summertime when you don't have all your layers on. Something that is a little bit different than you're going to find on a normal pair of pants is that on the front of the keb pants, they have these little loops that you can attach a carabiner to or loop whatever you want so you can hang things off the front of the pants. I have found this to be the most useful uh, on dog walks or really anywhere where I have my dog. Uh, it is especially helpful when hiking uh, because I like to be hands free when I'm hiking and I can loop the, the carabiner on my dog's leash right through there. It's just kind of a handy thing to have. Now the belt loop situation on the Abisko trousers is going to be very similar to the Keb. It also has that integrated loop in those front two uh, belt loops, and they're just kind of standard uh, belt loops on, on the Abisko light trekking trousers as well. So jumping back over to the keb, let's go over the pocket situation. This is where you're gonna get kind of your first big difference between the keb and the Abisko. The keb has two standard kind of uh, regular pockets on the top, and then it has two pockets across the thighs. Uh, those ones are pretty big. They're closed by two snap buttons each, and the one on the right pant leg has a media pocket for your phone. You may know this already, but this jacket I'm wearing is the Greenland number one down jacket. We have a review for that. If you're interested, check it out. Oof, that sunshine coming in is nice. <laughs> Where'd it go? On the left leg pocket on the thigh, that is a snap button closure, but there's also a zipper underneath. So you, you do get a zippered closure there and then a flap to kind of protect it from the elements. Now, there are no back pockets on the Keb, so that might take some getting used to if you like having back pockets back there. I know I've had some people in the store complain that, hey, like, why don't they put some back pockets on there? Uh, this is more of a technical pant and those back pockets are mostly what you'd find on more casual pants. So, and that's not universally true, but um, you know, they didn't put those in, so just be aware of that. The second thing is that the knees of the keb pants actually have a slot that you can put a knee pad in. Fjall Raven does sell the knee pads, and they're just a, a little foam insert. So if you have bad knees, or you know, even if you're just trying to protect your knees out doing a, on a hike or, or whatever, I've even had construction workers come in that love the keb pants because they're really durable and they, they use them for construction, and they like putting those knee pads up in there and the keb pants are so so much better than, than normal work pants because the the mobility. So um, it is nice to have that ability to put a knee pad in there if you want to protect your knees a little bit. Now if you're trying to size these pants for yourself and you're curious what I'm wearing and what my measurements are, check out the description. We put those numbers down there. So the backside of the Abisko light trekking trousers is also bare. Woof! So no pockets on the back of the Abisko trousers. If we move along to the front, it also has those pockets all along the thigh. These ones are not buttoned though, they are zippered. So you'll get two zippered pockets on your thighs. The right side, again, has that media pocket for your phone. And then moving up, there are two regular, kind of standard pant style pockets on the top as well. Now the next thing we want to talk about is the materials and construction of both of these pants. On the Ked pant, you're looking at a mix of G1000 Eco and these stretch panels, and the stretch panels are going to be a mix of polyamide, polyester, and elastane, which is kind of a nice mix of materials, actually, for those stretch panels. You're getting 
durability, you're getting breathability, and you're getting stretch. Like that's what those three materials are kind of used for and they're all combined uh, to give you this awesome material. Amazing, right? So you'll see on the Keb Pant kind of where those different panels are. The G1000 portion of it does not stretch, but that's where you're going to get the most abrasion resistance, that's where you're getting the most durability, that's where the pockets are. And then the stretch panels are going to give you that breathability and really allow your legs and the pant to stretch when you're walking and hiking and climbing and whatever else you may be using them for. So the materials on the Abisco trouser are a little bit different. You're still getting G1000 in a lot of sections of it, but instead of G1000 Eco, you're getting G1000 Light, which is a, a much lighter weight G1000. Still keeps that same 35% uh, cotton, 65% polyester in the G1000. It's just a, a lighter weight fabric. The difference though, the big difference, is in the stretch panels. Those stretch panels are polyamide and elastane in the Abisco they kind of drop that polyester aspect of it. Now if you think about it, this makes a lot of sense because polyester is really good at breathability. And the G1000 Lite is already a pretty breathable material, you know, because it's not quite as thick, it's gonna breathe a little bit better than the G1000 Eco on the Keb Pan. So they can kind of afford to drop a little bit of that, the uh, breathability aspect of the stretch panels because the general material that the pant is made out of is already pretty breathable. But the biggest thing you'll notice, the biggest difference between these two pants and the materials that are being used is just the weight of the fabric. The Keb pant is definitely a lot thicker, uh, it's going to be a lot more you know, heavy duty and the Abisco light trekking trouser is going to be a lot more lightweight and you know more breathable uh, and a little bit cooler. Now if you've learned one thing, if you found this video helpful, and anyway, please hit that thumbs up button. All right, break out your hammers and your nails because it's time to talk about the construction of these pants. Now, the Keb pant is, I mean, the first thing you're gonna notice about it is how many pieces are part of this thing. I mean, it, there's an insane amount of parts to this pant. Look at this thing. So they've really built this pant for mobility. Uh, as you're going down the pant, the, the construction is, so anywhere where you're gonna get abrasion, uh, they put the G1000. Anywhere where you're gonna need it to stretch, they put that stretch panel fabric. Uh, another thing you'll notice is when you're standing upright, the knees look a little bit maybe bulky, or you know, there's a lot of material in the knees, and the reason for that is when you go to lift your knee up, there's so much material there, there's no resistance. I mean, you really have complete freedom of movement in these pants, they're unbelievable. So with the Keb Pant, stretch where you need it, durability where you want it, uh, really great construction. There's also a big gusset there, uh, which again is just gonna help in mobility. So really, when you, when you see these pants in person, look at the construction of them, look where they've put those seams, look where they've added shape. That's really, really important. When you look at a pant that sits flat and it's just flat, you know that's not how our bodies are shaped. Our bodies have shape to them and we move them a lot. So they've really taken those concepts and integrated them into the construction of the pant and it's just, they're a joy to wear and you, yeah, they're awesome. As for the Abisco trousers, I can kind of echo what I just said about the Kebs. The construction of them is awesome. There's not quite as many parts that go into the Abisco trekking trousers, but you're still getting that big gusset. You're still getting that the articulated knees and kind of that uh, more material in the knees so you can you can move your, your legs up freely. We've had really good feedback with this pant as well in terms of mobility and how that pant is constructed. One last thing to note on both of these pants, uh, no matter which one you're looking at, is they do reinforce things. There's double stitching along the butt where you, know, you might be sitting and there's abrasion there. Uh, so anywhere that there's potential for things to wear down, they, they have done a really great job of constructing it in a way that it's going to prevent that for as long as possible. Let's talk about venting next. So on the Keb trouser, you get four different vents. Each leg has one on the top and each leg has one on the bottom. So these are really, really nice and it's one of the reasons I say the Keb pant can still be used in the summer. 
It's kind of built as more of like a mountaineering style pant that is going to be warm. I got some feedback from a couple Beaver Sports employees and they were saying um, it comes summertime, sometimes it's a bit too warm for them. Me personally, I still like wearing my Keb pants in the summer, so that might vary person by person. But one thing you can do with them is open up those vents and that's going to provide you with a lot of, of heat dissipation. That being said, the Keb is a warmer pant, so if you're looking for something that's going to be used exclusively in the summertime, the Abisco Light Trekking Trouser is going to probably be the way to go for you. So something kind of unique about living in Fairbanks is I honestly think, what is it, it's January, mid-January mid this week, I think this might be the first time the sun has hit my face in at least over a month. It feels so nice pouring orange juice over your face or something. I don't know, like it's just like, I feel like I'm just drinking it in. <laughs> so some hot, some hot orange juice. Please drink my hot orange juice. One last thing to mention about the Keb vents uh, before we move on to the Abisco. The top vent on the Keb is going to have a double zipper, so it gives you a little bit uh, more customability in terms of how far open you want that vent and where exactly on your leg you want that venting to take place. So something to take into consideration. And I should mention that's a relatively new thing. Uh, I think that only came about in the last like season or two. So kind of a new feature they've added. Now the vents on the Abisco Light Trekking Trouser are a little bit different because there's only one on the top. So you get one on each side, it's near the top of your leg, and it is only a single zipper. So you can zip that baby down and get some ventilation in there. Uh, Again, feedback from Beaver Sports employees is that the that's really adequate, basically. Um, they didn't really need the, the bottom zipper on the Abisco Trekking Trouser, so just that top one was plenty, and especially since it's a much lighter fabric. So that is another area where these two pants differ quite a bit. On the Abisco Light Trekking Trouser, just one vent on each pant leg, and it's near the top. So moving back to the Keb pant, let's talk about the very bottom of the pant. The cuffs on these are really nice and they can either be cinched down or kind of expanded out. You'll notice that I am wearing them over a pair of Sorel boots. Pant cuffs need to be pretty big to fit over those Sorel boots and these do it no problem. They slide right over if they're not cinched down. So that is a really awesome feature in the winter time. In summertime, or maybe you're wearing them for rock climbing or whatever else, you can cinch them down and it's going to keep that pant from falling down over your foot. So that's really cool. On the Keb pant, it is a snap button closure. So when you cinch it down, you're gonna go ahead and snap that button closed and that'll keep it in place. They've made it very easy to hem this pant. That bottom cuff is just basically one continuous piece and you have a stitch or two that you need to rip out and then you can re-sew it in there if you do want to shorten these pants up. So something to know, like if you're kind of in between lengths or, or whatever and you need to shorten that pant up, it is uh, really, really easy to do. One other update on the relatively newer Kebs is that the bottom vent, they moved the bottom of the zipper up a little bit. And the reason that's important is that before it was they didn't really give you much room to hem the pants if, if you needed to do that. So after they moved that zipper up a little bit, they gave you more room to hem those pants and shorten them uh, if necessary. The bottom cuff on the Abisco trouser is a little bit different in that it's not snap button closure, but it's got this, uh, it's just kind of a, a piece of webbing and then you pull it through the clip and the clip snaps shut. So you still have the same ability. You can expand it out if you need to. You can kind of close it around your ankle if you need to. It doesn't feel quite as heavy duty, but it's also a lighter weight pant uh, anyway. So I do like that they put a, a slightly lighter closure system on that Abisco Light Trekking Trouser. It kind of feels more at home on that pant. Now guys, before we move on and talk about who each of these pants is best for, if you're interested in Beaver Sports merchandise, check the link in the description below. No, God, please, no! All right, we're helping you on your journey for the quest for the best. So, each of these pants is pretty different, even though some of the features are the same. So who's it gonna be best for? So I would say the Keb pant is gonna be best for versatility. If you want a true four season pant, something that's going to be warm enough in the winter time, especially with the base layer on, uh, Keb pant's gonna be awesome. It can get you through spring, it can get you through fall. 
it might be a little bit warm in summertime, especially on the hotter days, but you do have those four vents on it. So I, I really think that you can get by on those hotter days in the Keb pan. It might not be designed for 90 degree weather, but with those vents, I think you can still get by with it. The Abisco Light Trekking Trouser is really gonna shine in those summer months. This one is definitely more designed for those hotter temperatures. Uh, you still get quite a bit of durability out of it. I will say the Keb Trouser is going to have a little bit more durability just because that material is thicker, but the Abisco Light Trekking Trouser still has a lot of abrasion resistance. It's going to be a little more breathable, a lot more lightweight. Uh, so if you're looking for a, a pant that is going to like really shine in the summer and then can definitely get you by in the spring and get you by in the fall, um, the Abisco Light Trekking Trouser is one to look at. I will say too, if you wear a base layer under those Abisco Light Trekking Trousers, uh, you add quite a bit of warmth to them as well, even though that's not really what they're designed for. One other thing to note about both of these pants is that you can use Greenland wax on the G1000 portion. So if you wanna add a little bit of weather protection, take a look at that and consider adding some Greenland wax to your pants. So let us know, are you a Kev guy or an Abisco guy? Which way are you leaning and why? I'm curious, leave something in the comments below. And hey, if you wanna see more pant comparisons, more jacket comparisons, more review videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Alex, stay happy. I feel so color coordinated today. Look how nice this blue of the, the Abisco trekking trousers goes with this green number one.